Greetings, Loop Tube. We're back. We're back. It's late fall. I wasn't going to Lube Tube uh, the rest of the open water season this year. Putting together a bit of a last, last ditch uh, video here. I've been slipping pretty good on the videos. It's been tournament time. Um, you know, I've mentioned it before. You can kind of only focus on one thing and do it right. You know, unless you can hire a cameraman or something. And obviously we are not at that level. Um, so I'd rather focus on derbs and, and do that thing than the, the loop tube in front, but derbs are over. Uh, I forgot to winterize my boat really. I usually run some sea foam through it. So I got to go out one more time. It's, uh, real late in the year, like ponds are freezing, clocks ticking. Um, but I got a special new little walleye treat and, uh, figured I'd haul you along and, you know, kind of show you the deal on this new bait. Um, it's something that's not going to be available, um, you know, for, for another couple months. It'll be good, good for ice fishing too, but we'll haul you along out there and uh, show you the deal. Got to just do our chores here prior to fishing. Ooh, a little pressure. Oh, knocked the cap in. Uh, I just use sea foam. This ain't an ad for sea foam. Believe me, I tried. They get hit up a little bit. I might get a toolbox sticker out of them and that's it. Crankcase, gas to fuel, 15 mil per liter. Okay, yeah. I'll measure that out here just fine. Oh. Thirty mil per. Jesus, make her simple on a guy here. Add to gas or diesel. Ten milliliters per liter. So. Hundred liters. It's a thousand milliliters. Well, you only get half of that. Whatever. Should go to Florida in January anyway. some snackage check this out you know you're down on your luck when you're buying Canadian Tire House brand almonds comes in the same package as uh, dishwasher detergent I think she'll do though a quarter pound ought to hold us over rookie ah, how you doing oh I, the answer is simple <laughs> yeah yeah, I believe that. I just scoped up. I see some in, well, 16 feet right now. I'll let you know. Yeah, man. Like, oh, I got one. <laughs> Stand by for size. Just what I'm after. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to deal with this. Give me a call later on or something. Okay, bud. Talk to you soon. Bye. Caught one. Talking on the phone, yakking away. That's where you want him to eat a jig and wrap. Or whatever this thing's called. A jig and wrap style bait is on that bottom treble hook. Like that thing is not going anywhere. So neither is this guy. Sorry there, lube tube. I'm not that professional here. Give me a break. Yakking on the phone. Oh boy. Ah, phone call. Nice. 
smoked my GoPro with the cast. Okay, time to take a breath. All right, as my buddy Burris would say, this is the business right here. The jigging shadow wrap. I don't know if I'm gonna talk to you out on the water about it or in here. It's kind of windy. So I'll get this out of the way. And then if I talk to you out there, then you don't have to listen to me in the garage. I'm all mic'd up though now. I got all kinds of new technology. So, um, you know, might not have to do the little garage sessions. Uh, but anyway, jigging shadow wrap. I mix up the name every time. Call it a shad rigging wrap, whatever, whatever. It's a jigging shadow wrap. So I got a couple of these earlier in the year and I've been crumpling walleyes on them. It's sweet. It's the funnest bite ever. Um, this thing is not so different from the original jigging wrap, um, but they add, they made it like a bigger, nicer profile. It's a lot prettier. Uh, it's got like a big tail hook, no nose hook, and then a good treble hook on it. And the whole premise behind this thing is it's a little bit lighter uh, for how big it is. I think this is a 5.8, so it still bombs down there quick, but it's not like a big cannonball that just smashes into the mud as soon as you lift it. So it gets a nice little flutter and you get a reaction bite out of the walleyes and it catches them like crazy. So um, I kind of got told to keep it hush hush for a bit. I actually don't know if I'm supposed to be talking about it yet, but. I gotta get a jump on the rest of these videos here. There's a lot of a lot of good walleye loop tubers that are probably dying to do this vid, so I'll take advantage while I can. And I know you watch guys like Tom Boley, and he's probably the king of the instructional walleye front from what I've seen. He's always using all kinds of reaction baits and stuff like this, so he's probably a little more dialed than I am on this, but whatever. We're gonna go put this in front of some walleyes and. See if you can't crumple a couple big ones and, and certainly the goal is also to get a little meat for for the off season here. A unit like this don't go along without eating a walleye. So the rod that I've got this thing on is a 13 fishing blackout rod. It's a seven foot medium. Uh, it's like a, I mean, I guess they would call it cost friendly rod. Um, I'll be honest for you, I got a couple of them. Saw the price tag and just threw them in my uh, my camp boat for you know for beaters using around out there. They're they're under a hundred bucks and I don't want to sound like a snob, but every day I use use higher end gear and just kind of ignored this stuff because it was cheap. Um, but I grabbed this rod and did a little fall fishing with it and absolutely loved it. This is one of my favorite rods right now, you know for and it's under a hundred bucks. So just the way it loads up, that tapering action. Um, is something that I've found is really lost in rods these days and you know uh, especially when you're using spinning rod treble baits uh, you want something that's going to soak it up you need to have that like parabolic tip um, not just a big lumber stick so that's the rod right there just braided line floral leader same old let's go put it in front of some critters really all I've been doing with this thing is uh you know mark the school they're kind of out on flats launch it out there past it and just snap snap really quick like not a whole lot of pull just a whole lot of snap um let it soak back to bottom and as soon as you feel that thing like you just follow it back to bottom with your rod tip and as soon as you feel it hit the bottom snap snap again um you leave it on the bottom too long you're going to give yourself up uh yeah, I just like to keep it moving, but it's definitely got to hit the bottom. You want that cloud to shoot up, you know, in the in the mud, and that's part of the attraction. The premise of these things is not to have like a real sweet looking bait that a walleye can't resist, slow presentation in front of their face. It's to get a reaction bite, um, you know, kind of trick them into doing something that they're going to regret. So, it's... Uh, when it comes dancing in front of its face, you know, snapping at a million miles an hour, it, uh, it's just going to eat it or it's not.
That's one for the pan. That'll be. Found a bunch of fish in 15, so I figured I'd go look in uh, 30 for the next half an hour. I didn't catch anything. Real smart. There we go. You're probably coming home with me, Bubba. Two of these baits to my name and I got a pickerel. Pickerel messing with me. And for those of you that don't know, that's obviously not a pickerel, it's a northern pike. I call them chain pickerel because they look like a chain pickerel and uh, that's that's why. I know a lot of people call walleye pickerel and that's fine too. Um, but uh, yeah, clear up any confusion. under 50. That's all I hooked in the same spot. It's a beauty. <laughs> Look at that photogenic thing popped out. One of the fears with the OG jig and wrap is you would lose quite a few fish. Um, but these beefed up hooks and this thing seems to be a little more solid. I'm not really crushing them right now, but it's, uh, you know, it's going to plan. I'm happy with that. The old meat's trying to escape. Oh, that's why you always latch your load. You'd be getting a look from your partner in a bass tournament if you did that. <laughs> 